Okay, so I am now back with another episode of episode, and we are going to be doing End Zone again, episode two of End Zone. So let's go ahead and get started. And of course I have to watch an ad. Um, I guess I never finished the last episode. I mean I did. I did finish the last episode. It's just that um, I never completely finished it. Finished it. I guess I exited out of it. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip the episodes. I mean not episodes. The ad. Come on, I did not want to do that. Come on. Exit. Okay. Um. I don't want multiple ads, come on trying to get to the actual episode. So I am using a different uh, light. Uh, well, ring light. So if it does look different, then that would be why. If it's not as clear, that'd be why. I'm still using the same camera, just, yeah. And from when I was uploading the last episode, it didn't look like this bit was clear. So now we are starting back into the actual episode two. So let's get started. I'm not going to show you guys the ads, I'm just going to uh, skip to where it is right now. So let's get started. I forget what his name was. Let's go ahead and start. So I am now waking up and this seems to be the, uh, what happened at the end. So congratulations! Your name was drawn in the annual football charity contest. Hello? Are you there? Um, I think you have the wrong number. Is this Brennan Davis? 23 years old? Residing in Missouri? Is this spam? I didn't sign up for some contest. Well, someone signed you up for it. Can you just send me my ribbon so I can go back to sleep? Ribbon? <laughs> he doesn't know what the contest is. What the hell? Sir, you're live right now at Sports Arena in Miami. Your prize is in all-inclusive trip to Miami. You'll get to spend a week with quarterback Travis Reed. Then before you leave, you get a check for 20 grand to a charity of your choice. Now, would you still prefer that ribbon? Stop laughing at me. Great, this guy seems like a killjoy. So what do you say? Do you want to spend a week with Travis Reed? I'd rather read the phone book word for word. Well, that was rude. There's no charity you'd hope to help. 
Hmm? Yeah. So the last episode, there was the girl. And yeah. Well, can I just donate the money and not have to come to Miami with Mavis? My name's Travis, dude. Come on, Dove. Pick someone else already. Don't make me spend a week with old Grumpy. When would I have to come? Your flight is booked for Monday. Keep a lookout for Travis when she lands in Miami. He'll be waiting. Two days? What is this shit? Hello? Fan fucking tastic. I sure hope that I get to make choices on this. Don't say a freaking word, Reed. I'm about to get one in the hole. Huh? That never happens. Cool. Yeah, well, suck it, Mavis. <laughs> Not funny. Well, I happen to think it's hilarious. <clears throat> because you don't have to spend a week with not everyone has to like you man I in fact like him already I don't give a shit if people don't like me it's the fact that he doesn't even know me don't pretend like your ego isn't bruised he said he'd rather read a phone book than spend a week with me. Thank you for proving my point further. It's only seven days. Plus, it's for a good cause. Who knows, maybe he'll fall for you like everyone else does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're not being very helpful. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to ignore the fact that my best friend is complaining about spending a week with a hot hunk of a man who just so happens to be the most famous and fit football player in the world. You're right. Your world is falling apart. You know, I can't stand athletes. And I think you know that I have a pretty good reason to. I don't even know how I was a part of the contest. Did you put my name in it? No, but I'm annoyed that I didn't think about it first. I hate you. You love me. Well, your reason may be a valid one. Not all athletes are like him. And you know that because of all the athletes you've encountered, right? They're cocky. Arrogant. Only care about themselves. Don't have the time of day to be with family. And get everything handed to them on a silver platter. Not true. I bet the man has a maid who cleans his underwear and a personal chef who kicks him his stupid fancy finger foods. Then don't go. I'm sure someone else would be thrilled to take your spot. If I don't go, Hazel could die. I would never forgive myself if I was the reason for that to happen. Dinner tasted great, Dad. Thank you. Sure thing, son. I, for one, thought we were having Mac Daddy and cheese. Would it kill you to be grateful, Ken? It might. Eat your dinner, Keenan. Or eat nothing at all. Harsh. Kelly would have made me Mac and cheese if I asked. Okay. Then why didn't you ask? It's not important, Mother. Stop calling me by my first name. I'm your father, for Christ's sake. I'll stop calling you Kelly when you cut your mullet. Just sit and nod. Maybe you wouldn't have to get dragged into it. You don't know... You did not just call this a mullet. Brandon told me that's what it's called. What? 
So this is what we've resorted to, Keenan. Bet. I caught Keenan playing with your makeup mom so he can impersonate the animals on Animal Planet. You traitor! What do I even say to that? Also, what on earth did I birth? <laughs> can we just have a normal family dinner for once? Tell me about your day, boys. Nothing too crazy. I mean, I did somehow win a contest to fly to Miami and spend a week with Mavis Reed. Do you, do you mean Travis Reed? Holy shit, son. Wait, you actually won? I d Wait a minute. Did you have something to do with this, Keenan? Oh my god, this is the funniest thing ever. Does it look like I'm laughing? You know I can't stand athletes. Mm-hmm. Obviously, that's why I did it. Are you going to go? You've never traveled before, hon, let alone by yourself. If you do go, can you get my jersey signed? Your mother is right, son. Have you thought it through? Before I answer your question? Anyways. <laughs> Be nice to each other, boys. Keenan, apologize to Brennan for using his name in something he didn't ask for. Brennan, apologize for pushing your brother. Brennan! I'm sorry for trying to make your boring life a little more interesting. Kenan, I'm sorry that mom didn't leave you at the hospital after you were born. Oh god. <laughs> it's probably not too late to run off and live our dream in Hawaii, is it? Whether to go or not to go isn't up to me. I need the price money to save Hazel. Well, we trust you, baby. We know both how we know we both know how hard this is going to be on you. Yeah, you're doing it regardless to save Hazel's life. I'm so proud of you. You've grown up to be a good man, Brennan. Well, I should ha get to bed. I've got a long day of packing, saying bye, and talking to Rose at the cafe tomorrow. Good night, I love you. Night, I love you. Hey, Bren. Hey, Brennan. Before you go to bed, do you want to hear a joke? You know what, Keenan? Knock yourself out. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow. Interrupting cow, moo! You're firing me? Look, hon. This decision has nothing to do with you. It's the busiest time of the year, you know that. And if you leave, we'll be short-staffed. So I'll have to find a replacement for you. I'll be gone for a week, not a year. Sorry, babe. Okay, so we're finally getting our choices. Um... I respect your decision or your coffee tastes like shit. I don't know what their coffee tastes like because Dunkin' Donuts tastes good. Starbucks tastes good. My coffee tastes good. I know how to make a good coffee. I used to work at Dunkin'. Um, and how can you fuck up coffee? I mean, just watering it down more, but whatever. Um, he seems like a good person, so I respect your decision. I want gold choices. I'm not going to lie, this sucks, but I get where you're coming from. Good luck to you, Brennan. And he has a tattoo. Okay, so Hazel is dying. My only hope to save her is to spend a week with someone I loathe. 
By leaving, I lose my job. The only secure thing in my life. What's next? <sighs> I've never even traveled before. What if the plane crashes? What if someone kidnaps me? What if Mavis doesn't even show up to, at the airport to pick me up so I'm lost in the city? What I... You can't live off of what ifs, Brennan. True. Very true. If this... Is this what it feels like to be defeated? I literally have 12 hours to do whatever the hell I want till I'm trapped in Miami with a self-centered athlete. I hope it goes fast. If I have to lock myself in the room he gives me for 7 days, I will. Why? Because I want absolutely nothing to do with him. And seven days won't change that. Just pretend like it's not 5 a.m., Brennan. Really? 5 a.m.? Okay, what should Brennan wear to the airport? Denim days? I mean, that's what I would wear? No, take, um, classic Brennan, what, uh, definitely not to the airport, um, what the heck is, this shirt is fine, I guess, ew, ew, uh, denim days, yes, I guess this will do. Okay, if... Okay, um... Okay, this isn't so bad. It does seem a little extra that they chose to fly me there alone, though, on a giant freaking airplane. Arrival time will be in T-10 minutes. I feel sick. I mean, at least they, uh, flew him out in private. Now, where's Travis? Oh, well, that's my name. And that is it for this episode. So I hope, you, again, we'll be uploading, trying to upload every Tuesday. Um, hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to thumbs up in the section down below. Don't forget to like or well, comment down below any bit, um, episode or anything other ideas you want me to do for gaming. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell icon so you know if I every time I post a new video. Bye guys. Love you.